gamtothecin is the most sought after alkaloid which is derived from plants for the treatment of uh, cancers, various types of cancers. Gamtothecin was discovered way back in 1966 by the two scientists Wall and Vani and they were able to discover it from a plant which is native to China, Camptotheca cuminata, from its stem and bark. Camptothecin is traditionally and in fact currently also procured using natural plant extraction and uh, currently there are two major sources for the plant material, one in India and the other is in China. Please note both these plant species is, have become endangered due to extensive uprooting to meet the demand of camptothecin in the market. There is a huge gap between the demand and supply of camptothecin. Camptothecin annual demand is close to 3000 kgs whereas the supply is just 600 kgs. So there is an imperative need to come up with alternative source of production for this molecule. This started way back, I think in 2011, where we were working on the concept whether microbial uh, cells can also produce this plant-derived molecule. And when the proof of concept was established, that yes, by manipulating the culture environment, we can have sustainable production of this molecule. We went on to again bioprospect a very high yielding micro which could produce camptothecin from nature. We are at a stage where the bioprospecting has been done. We have the high yielding cell line. And, and now we would like to optimize the culture environment so as to uh, have maximum productivity in terms of uh, not only the amount of camptothecin which we can obtain through the unit uh, gram of biomass, but also in terms of minimizing the time in which we can get this much amount. And the plan is to then take this optimized process forward to a large bioreactor for pilot scale validation and technology transfer, which is now a 50 liter reactor scale. And we are in parallel also optimizing the economical and eco-friendly method of extracting camptothecin from these large biomass. In terms of comparison, if you see, uh, the uh, currently extracted from Nothapodites pneumoniana, that's a very slow growing tree yeah, in nature. It takes almost seven to 10 years for the tree to come to maturity. And then the molecule is to be ideally taken from the bark of the stem to keep it sustainable. But uh, because of its presence in various other parts of the plant, it leads to its invasive harvesting. Unlike the microbial fermentation process where it is at current stage, it is eight days and we are hopeful to bring it down further. Now, microbes can be mass produced in bioreactors. Industrial biotechnology is well established for microbial fermentations. So that's an advantage. Fungal fermentations have been used for various uh, pharma molecule production, like antibiotics. So now if you already have a fungi, it's a filamentous fungi, which can produce this plant-derived molecule, its translation to industry or market will not be uh, very difficult. You can continuously have uniform product quality and quantity because you are mass producing it under controlled environment which is under optimum conditions in large bioreactors. In terms of sustainability, in terms of continuous production to meet the market demand, I think uh, having a microbial fermentation process can bridge the gap between the demand and su supply of camptothecin in the market. Right now, the technology is, uh, I would class it between three and four, uh, where we have the strain in hand. We are now uh, already developing, uh, the optimizing the process at the batch reactor level. The plan in times to come is to take it to the large bioreactor, uh, like 14 liter, where we'll optimize the bioreactor design uh, and then take it to 50 liter reactor level for pilot scale validation.
I would say there are there are multiple impacts. It will be a sustainable method of production of camptothecin, unlike the natural plant extraction. We are free from any climatic or geographical variation which will impact the product quality and quantity. We'll have a much greener method of production, more environment friendly and the process is amenable to optimization which is unlike the natural source. So where the microbial cell can further be engineered to divert the metabolic flux more towards camptothecin. So this way uh, improving this, uh, the native yield of camptothecin from the microbe and also the environment, the, the process conditions which can lead to further improvement in the productivity of camptothecin. Having an alternative method of uh, production for such a high value molecule and please note camptothecin is not only being used as a lead molecule for the three drugs in the market ernotican, topotecan and exotecan but there are other more than dozen camptothecin derivatives which are under different stages of clinical trials which can come into the market. If you talk about its impact which the molecule is going to have on cancer treatment seems to be immense. Now once we have an alternative method of production we can and also eventually have a control over the rising prices of this molecule in the market and thereby the associated treatment cost of cancer. So I think in terms of social impact, uh, it has a huge potential. It's important to work in parallel to reduce the time uh, of transition from lab to market. So we are working on strain development in order to improve the native camptothecin yield in the strain itself. We are also working on the upstream process development where we have our technology partners on board with us to expedite this, where we want to take the process till 50 litre reactor level with maximum camptothecin yield and productivity achieved from the process at 50 litres for tech transfer. Now the third project which is also in parallel is on having an eco-friendly method as well as an economical method of extracting camptothecin out from the harvested biomass at large scale. So that's the downstream processing aspect. But we are also looking for industry partners for various other aspects of advancement which includes marketing, which includes market survey, how to, how to place the technology in the market. So I think for all that, it's important that we have industry partners on board who would like to invest in this technology or who would like to participate in the advancement of this technology from lab to market. In the end, I would like to say that uh, it is uh, like a Make in India initiative and uh, this indigenous technology will be able to not only bridge the gap between the demand and supply for this molecule in the country but also globally, worldwide. I, this is going to have an impact on the cost of the molecule as well as eventually in the treatment cost of various cancers. Having said that, time is crucial. So in order to advance in a timely manner, knowing that other uh, countries are also working in similar aspects, it is very important that industry and academia in the country, they should come together to work on this technology advancement. I class this under a high risk, high reward. Now looking at the socio-economical impact which this can have in terms of uh, the cost of the molecule as well as the cost of cancer treatment, I think it is imperative for like-minded industry to come on board with academia like IIT Madras on this. So this will not only become a platform technology for camptothecin, but the same can be extrapolated for various other plant-derived molecules which are of high value and low volume in times to come.